What's going on YouTube? All right, it's your boyfriend, Nitty. Now, I'm sitting in traffic right now, hands-free. Don't drive and do this. So, um, about two weeks ago, I told wifey I was gonna do something special for her. And I ended up going on his website and randomly I described our relationship, one of my favorite things about it, a couple more details, went into depth about our relationship and everything going on. And I had somebody write a song about it. So <laughs> we're gonna get Nick reaction. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't even know how much she gonna like it. I know I love it. It's a dope song. I'm gonna have fun with it. I'm excited to see how she take this because like Nick is awesome. Yeah, we like best friends. So like doing little shit out of the blue and shit like that is what our relationship is made of. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm excited to see how she take it. Um, yeah, it's it's a dope song. Um, you guys will hear it. It's everything that um, I could think of realistically that mattered. Um, and there's some funny stuff in there too. Um, just give you the background of the story that we tell to our friends and couples the most. Um, she gives me crap all the time for saying, I said, I love you first, but technically it wasn't like that. Let me give you some background on that. The I love you first thing. So I was, I don't know, 2019. I don't know, a broke college kid, man. Um, I didn't have much. And after practice, I'd be hungry. Sometimes I didn't even have the energy to go get something. One day after practice, she'd bring me some Taco Bell. Like, cra like crazy, like, that was my thing. Mexican pizzas were my favorite thing to eat out of nowhere. I didn't ask, she just showed up with it. And low key, like when you starving, like that shit hit different. And I was like, man, I love your ass. Thank you so much. And then she hit me with the, look me right in the eye. I love you too. I said, oh shit. So in the middle of her saying, I love you too, I paused for a second, like, oh shit. Like, is that, was that the moment? Cause we didn't say that for seven months. We kind of just dated um, and we didn't put a title on anything. We kind of just rocked together every day, saw each other every day. So the fact that she made like that moment serious as hell <laughs> was, is one thing I loved about it. From that day on, we always said, I love you, love you too. And we kind of just didn't talk about it until like, I don't know. I don't know, like six years ago when we start bringing it up and laughing about it. But uh, that just give you guys a little background on how that went. And yeah, man, let's see. Let's see how she take this and let's see what she think about it. Uh, and y'all tell me what y'all think about it too, man. <laughs> it matter what time it is. All right, we recorded. <laughs> All right, go on the glove box. Well, pay attention. Oh, there's nothing in the glove box. <laughs> That's uh, why is that not there? You looking for it? You don't see so it. So what do I do? You don't see it. I thought you saw it. Nikki, Nikki, never will we met in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me sing about one of our favorite stories. Yeah. About who said I love you first I think that it was you You said that it was me And technically it was But That day at Taco Bell Was significant Nikki yeah, We have grown so much Cause it's on my mind I, I wanna 
everything together And loving each other unconditionally Baby, you know what you do to me I don't see myself in no one else I made this just because you're true to me Nikki said shine Baby, you like our song? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? 